For some time, tighter safety regulations in industrialized countries have ensured stricter enforcement of rules regarding the safeguarding of silos and bins against positive and negative pressure. There is no question that other countries will have to follow this example. Pressure relief valves are the last safety net when abnormal pressure conditions endanger the silo structure. This is why sudden access or suction pressure inside the silo must be dealt with instantly. Even though ideally a pressure relief valve should never have to go into action, it must be efficient and reliable if needed. WAM has developed two models using different principles of pressure relief. In the VCP valve, helical springs keep the valve lids closed when the pressure value remains within the preset limits. The three outside spring rods keep the external ring-shaped lid firmly closed as long as the force generated by the pressure inside the silo does not overcome the spring force. Once the pressure exceeds the preset value, the lid is pushed up and the pressure can escape. The smaller lid covers the central circular opening of the external lid from below. It is held in the middle by a single spring rod and is pressed onto the external lid by the normal air pressure inside the silo. In the event of suction pressure, the spring is compressed and allows the lid to drop. The air entering the silo from outside ensures rapid pressure balance and pushes the central lid back up into the closed position. The counterweight loaded VHS valve has one decisive advantage compared to the VCP. Due to the moment of inertia of the helical springs on the VCP, pressure balance is re-established extremely quickly, but not instantly. The VHS, on the other hand, does the job in real time. Through an interplay of pressure on different surface areas on both sides of a diaphragm fitted inside the valve housing, perfect pressure balance is achieved. In the event of excess pressure, this interaction enables air from inside the silo to flow back into the atmosphere. In case of suction pressure, the air penetrates from the atmosphere into the silo. The main innovative features of WAM pressure relief valves are, in the case of VCP, depending on the use, versions made from either carbon steel or stainless steel are available. Lightweight design as well as reduced overall dimensions make fitting an easier job. In the case of VHS, the working principle of the VHS valve itself is innovative. Its special double-acting diaphragm pervious to air sees to both axis and suction pressure relief. The special properties of the diaphragm avoid blockage as well as the formation of material crusts. Maintenance and calibration, if necessary, are extremely easy. Like VCP, also VHS valves are supplied in a stainless steel version on request. The VCP range includes VCP 2731A made from carbon steel and VCP 2732A made from stainless steel 304. Both versions are preset for a maximum negative pressure of minus 0.002 bar and a maximum access pressure of 0.05 bar. Should the customer's requirements be different, the valves can be set within a range of suction pressure from minus 0.002 bar to minus 0.012 bar and for access pressure ranging from 0.028 bar to 0.1 bar. VHS valves are available as carbon steel version VHS 2731 and as VHS 2732 made from stainless steel 304. These valves are preset for a maximum negative pressure of minus 0.005 bar 
and a maximum excess pressure of 0.05 bar. Should the customer's requirements be different, the valves can be set at a maximum excess pressure ranging from 0.02 bar to 0.08 bar. Production at an industrial level requires quality control at each stage of the manufacturing process. Starting from inbound quality control through laser cutting and robot welding of steel parts through final assembly and testing up to outbound quality control and packaging as certified according to ISO 9002 quality system. Quick delivery is guaranteed thanks to a large amount of stock carried at the WAM factory in Italy and at its worldwide subsidiaries. During the following part of this video, please pay attention to the special safety notices. On receipt of the delivery, check that the codes on the packaging of the valve match those on the invoice and on the acknowledgement of order. Handle all material with care. Remove all parts from the packaging. Note the assembly instructions contained in the package. Except for the weather protection cover, the valves are supplied pre-assembled. For installation, follow the instructions contained in the package. Completely pre-assemble the valve before taking it on top of the silo. Follow general safety instructions when climbing up the silo. During preparatory operations on top of the silo, secure the valve so that it cannot fall off. After fitting the valve, firmly tighten the eye bolts which fix the weather protection cover. Never use any liquid seal as this may interfere with the correct function. Detailed instructions for the installation of VCP and VHS valves are included in the supply. Smooth operation can only be guaranteed if the valves are fitted in a perfectly vertical position. No replacement of any parts is required as long as you check the functioning of your VCP or VHS valve regularly. The seals on the VCP the diaphragm of the VHS especially have an unlimited life if they are checked from time to time. To replace the diaphragm of the VHS valve, proceed as in the following sequence. Follow general safety instructions when climbing up the silo. During maintenance work on top of the silo, secure all loose parts. When the maintenance job is finished, mount the weather protection cover and firmly tighten the eye bolts. In those cases where it is necessary to adjust the excess pressure limit of the VCP valve to a lower range, Substitute the three outside springs with a soft spring kit which is supplied together with a valve according to the enclosed instructions.
is essential that the dimensions A and B correspond with the chart values. If you need to change the excess pressure limit in the VHS valve, increase or reduce the number of counterweights as shown according to the instruction chart.